Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up Anki and install my audio-visual ancient Greek flashcards for the Institute of Biblical Greek beginning Greek course. The first thing to do is go to the Anki site, and it talks about an Anki 2 version 2 page, but really all of these links take you to the same place, the latest version of Anki. So we go to the latest version of Anki, Anki 2.0, and download the Windows version. I have a PC here, so I will be using the Windows version. Use whatever version you need. Once it is downloaded, I right click on it so I can see what folder it downloaded it to, so where it is on my computer. Just verify that everything is complete and close the window. Now there's no need for the original install file, so I can clear that off my computer and I might as well clear my download list. I verify that Anki is now installed and I can start the program up. I answer some initial installation questions. These may be different since I had an older version of Anki with some old decks I deleted. They're not there. I uninstalled Anki before I did this process. It says it imported some old decks I had, but they're gone. There's nothing in those. If I browse the whole collection, you'll see I have no cards in my deck. So Anki is now installed. I will close the program and import or first download the special deck I've made for my class. I definitely think it works best to close Anki at this point before downloading and importing the deck. I do have instructions for all of this at biblicalgreek.org slash grammar slash you will have to log in using your account information. You can then click on the course setup link. In that section, you will see the link to my Anki deck in my Dropbox, and you can click on that or copy and paste it into your browser to download my Anki deck. Once downloaded, I open the containing folder so I can see where it's located. You can get that pop-up with a right click. Then I go ahead and start Anki because now I want to import this downloaded file. As soon as Anki starts up, I click import at the bottom of the screen. Now I have to find that file, but since I have that folder with the file already open up there, I can see where the address is and I can just go through all of the different subfolders just like above and find that Anki deck. I click on it and the installation process begins. And then it shows me the IBG Athena Z deck. If I browse, I can see the whole collection now is filled with audiovisual cards. All I have to do now is start studying. Now, I don't want to study all of the cards, I just want to study the ones in chapter one to begin with. So I click on the deck and then click on custom settings. And the last option is to sort with certain tags. I have to check the upper top checkbox to filter by certain tags. And then I scroll down to one alpha. That's my first chapter. I could do other chapters as well. As I, as I work through other chapters, I can add them on by highlighting them with the control key down. And then I select OK. And I'm ready to study. I can make this bigger. You can hit the space bar to display the answer, and then the one, two, three keys, number one, number two, number three, for how well you know the answer. And initially, you'll just have to hit again and again. You might want to learn the vocab right off the Biblical Greek grammar slash Athena page. I have it, the list there to just get familiar with it first before you start working on these. And that's how you get going with the Yonki deck, and that will take you through the entire textbook. You can delete the downloaded file since you've imported it already and clear your download list. Opening on key again, you'll see the overall deck. You can also see your customized session that you can keep coming back to. That just has that one lesson in, in it. And you can create other customized lessons. But it's going to keep track of all of your cards overall. And so it's going to know which cards you need to look at more often. I hope this helps you get started with all these audio-visual flashcards. And I hope you enjoy learning Biblical Greek.